Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Unboxing and then some. Yes. So today we're doing a little bit unboxing, but it wouldn't be directly from the box because it came in multiple separate box. Okay. This uh, uh, uh bomb was sent over by Eric Smoke White. If you have one, my brother, for another mother kind of thing. So, um, basically he sent a bunch of over uh, of a bunch of stuff we we tend to do that since uh, each other things uh, but this time special thanks to him because uh, uh his girl went out uh overseas and when she came back she brought me back some whiskey and that makes me super happy you guys just have no idea because there's a limitation of what you can bring back especially coming back to massachusetts we're limited to one liter Apparently, where she is, there's no limit. But for me, there is. So, but we'll go one thing at a time, like dragging on and everything. So he sent me a bunch of cigar in his usual fashion, plus this one, and he sent me these. But this is gonna be my <laughs> thumbnail video. There you go. These are. These are it. These are it. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna take a sip of each of these. I got two little cups and I'm gonna sip them and let you know which one's better. But <clears throat> we start with um, going through these cigars. First thing first, we have the Flor de las Antillas 10th year anniversary edition 2022. Like that. Here we go. Beautiful. And then let's go through the bags. All right. <clears throat> First, we have the La Six Provincia uh, ZDT, which is, I think, the most recent one. The little jar thing. I'm not too sure. Uh, then we have um, the the Amazon Basin. He said is Anejo, but I think this is normal. I think it's normal. I think this is normal. Okay. Uh, next. Angel Share. Open six. Okay. Next. There's, there's more. There's more. Uh, limited edition 2023. Carver Layer Cigar. I don't know what the name is other than that is limited release 2023 so i'm gonna ask him uh and then this is lovely cigars elegant x2 toro okay year of the tiger from drew estate on the crown I want to smoke that right now, to be honest with you. Uh, then we have the Alma Fuego TA Exclusive. This one, uh, Roger also sent me this one. I actually reviewed it literally yesterday, and I would love to smoke this again. So, there we go. Um, bruh, 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 if I didn't get this wrong, uh, this is the Night Commander, I think. <clears throat> the Underground. No, not Underground Foundation Cigars. I'm gonna die smoking this one for sure. <clears throat> Continues. We have the older version of Namakubi. 
he took the thing out of it, but it's Namakubi. Oh, God of Fire KKP Special Reserve 2020. He just got this one recently, too. Um, then we have the USA Reserve Cavalier Black Toro. I guess the other one is Cavalier White. Uh, then we have these out room 101 10th year anniversary. You know, in in order to complete all those um, reviews that we have in, for comparison, you know, one thing at a time. This is 2017 Fuente Fuente Forbidden Forbidden X. I could have swear I know the name of this one. No, not even gonna try. Not even gonna try. Here we go. 12th anniversary. Room 101. Oh, this one is the uh, Amazon Basin Anejo LE Toro. There we go. So he sent me one of each. Uh, Davidoff Golden Band Awards. Hmm? Didn't I review this already? Matildi, Maduro, Serena. I guess I the one I reviewed wasn't Maduro. I don't know. I gotta look into it. Continues, almost there. Uh, this is the Media Spellicoso Fino Limited Edition 2023. And then LSD Matt Toro. And lastly, he sent me another uh, instant bowl because I screwed up the previous <laughs> recording. I had to re-record again. So yeah, okay. So that's all the cigar he sent me. Okay. Two, three, five, seven. Nine. 10. Wow. 14. 16. 18. 21. 21 cigars in here. And actually, majority, majority of them is going to be under 20 bucks in here. So people that think that he doesn't smoke $21, $20 will be low. He does. Quite a bit. He just doesn't actually review all of them, but he was smoking. Anyway, that's for the cigar part. Now, to the part of the drinks. Now we have uh, a single malt Nika Miyakikyo Grande. And then we have a single malt Yoichi Grande. And um, both of them are non chill filtered. Okay. So I have the regular ones all the time, but like, you know, these special edition ones uh, is something that Nika likes to do. They, the Nika thinks that if he makes 50 drinks that people don't like, it's not that he failed 50 times. It's that he learned 50, 50 ways to make drink that's bad, right? So he can, you know, the more the way you know how to make bad, the more way you know how to make good. That's kind of his idea. So he keep uh, try to make some of these things for people that travels, you know, like, you know, they they could find more premium type of uh, Yoichi or Miyakyo by just go to their factory. But these are like for travelers. It's like, oh, you know what? I want to pick up something that's slightly different, a little different and try it. Right. And I told Eric this when he sent me these, 
I'm drinking it. These are not for savoring. These are for, you know, for try them out, have fun with it, go, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna drink it and um, I might just send some back. I send a little bit back so that he can try some too. Ah. Okay. Um, pretty sure this wasn't the bag for it, but we just gotta ignore that. We are just gotta ignore that. Ah. That's how it looks like. There we go. One box. And the second one. Yeah. Okay. That, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble getting this out. Here we go. Uh, he packed it down good. All right. So of all the drinks that I own in my house, I have mostly Nika, and the most Nika I own will be literally Miyaki Kyo and Yoichi in the aged um, expression. Okay. So having these special ones makes me happy. So these obviously called Grande for a reason. He says if something works. Let's throw do more of it and see if it works better. So this one uh, is non supposedly not non peated the Miyaki Kyo. So they just added everything else that's not peat, like more in there, and then no, no more moss. So just add more of other flavor in there to make it more flavor. And this one is smoky, it's peated. So they just add even more smoke by adding more peat in there. So, how does it taste? Let's get started. Let's get going. Let's go. All right. Sorry. Wasting a lot of time. So, two cups in front of me. It's got to be hard to see, but I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, yes. Like, I'm, I'm ripping this apart without hesitation. I, are those people that think, oh, you got to collect it? No, I'm going to drink it. When a, when a good friend bring you alcohol, you drink it. You don't collect it. You When you buy it your own, you can collect it. But I think uh, when a good friend sends you alcohol or gave you alcohol, you drink it. Right? I usually doesn't wait too long before I open. Before I open the alcohol that's uh, sent over by a friend. So... This, no exception, drinking it tonight. Whoa. This is 48% alcohol by volume. That's actually a little bit high too. So. For a Japanese whiskey. Cover it up. Oh. A little bit more wouldn't hurt. Very nice. You know, I'm thinking to just keep these two bottles down here. Drink it whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Alright. So, let's try them. Because Yoichi is smoky and peaty. I'm gonna try that later. I'm gonna try the Miyakyo first because I don't want that smokiness to tint the sweetness. Usually this is sweeter. Oh, it's very like, very nice. It's, um, it's got a little bit of like apple and pineapple notes to it. Like a fermented pineapple with a little bit of apple sweetness, just by smelling it. Ooh. Ooh, feels my nose right away. Oh yeah, that is kind of extreme. <laughs> that is kind of extreme. Ooh. 
is spicy. It's um It's fruity. It's spicy in the very beginning and then yeah, it is spicy. That's this is not alcohol burn. This is spicy. It's a little bit spicy. But it ends in a sweetener note. Ends in sweet. It's fruity for sure. And a little bit of woodsiness. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, Yoichi. I like a Yoichi better, to be honest with you. But each one has its purpose. One of them has no, you know, it's more fruity. The other one's more woodsy, you know? I shoot. Here. Yeah. Go. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it does taste like green moss. <laughs> uh, it tastes a little bit smoky, a little bit more of that s smoked bitterness of the wood. And you get that moss, like green moss. You can almost imagine it, you know, like on top of concrete kind of moss and burn it kind of. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. A little bit too extreme. I can see why it's called grande. Uh, it's 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 extreme. It's very extreme. You have to like their original flavor to the maximum to enjoy these the way that he probably intended. It's extreme. What I think this is gonna end up to be is that it's gonna taste a lot better or easier if you had a big chunk of ice slowly melting into it which slightly dilutes it back to about 40%, 45%. Um, and then kind of that will go back to a more normal taste. But yeah, both of them taste like an extreme version of their normal version, if that makes sense. And I can see that these are made for ice. Have a cup of ice, dump in there, and slowly enjoy it. Even with the water down a little bit, you'll be able to enjoy it like normal. I think that's what this is for. Tastes pretty good. Big thanks to Smoke One if you have one. Eric for sending me these things. I am going to enjoy these right now while I'll do a cigar review. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.